All right. Let's go over a summary for impact type product. And there are two categories: direct central impact and oblique impact. And for direct central impact, uh, it looks like this. The two equations: conservation of linear momentum and coefficient of restitution. Right. Uh, for the conservation of linear momentum, you apply that in the direct central impact direction, okay? And which is this direction right here, and it's very straightforward, okay? And for the coefficient of restitution, just plug in the uh, velocity, and you get done with it, okay? It's very straightforward, right? So this is your V A, okay? V A one, and then V B one before and after impact, you know, V A two and V B two will be along the same direction as well. Although you know A might be going the opposite x direction, or V B might be going um, that way, or both might be traveling along the same way. But they are always along the DCI direction. Okay. So that's straightforward. Now for oblique impact, okay, and it might look something like this. Okay, so V A one, V B one, right before impact. All right. There are actually three things going on. First of all, the conservation of linear momentum applies to each particle. Okay. So you end up with two equations. Okay? So you apply this equation to particle A, well mass just drops out of the equation. So you're left with this. However, this applies to the T direction, tangent direction only. Okay? Tangent direction. Okay? So for each particle. In the tangential direction, velocity before and after is the same. It is conserved. Okay? Second, applying to the entire system, conservation linear momentum applies as well. Okay? But only in the end direction, which is the impact direction. Okay? And we call it the DCI direction. Okay? So, this whole equation applies in the n direction. Okay, so this n, 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 and n. Finally, for the coefficient of restitution, same definition as before, okay, for direct central impact, except you apply it to the n direction as well, which is the DCI impact direction. Okay? So n, 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 and n. Okay? So for oblique impact, really you have one, two, three, and four equations available. Alright? Okay, let's look at an example. This is an example shared out of the textbook, example 15.11. So you have two particles in um, a game of pool. And <coughs> particle A is coming this way. Right, at a 30 degree angles from the uh, horizontal direction, which is called the DCI direction. Particle B is coming down this way at 45 degree angle. Okay, so they are oblique impact because they are approaching each other okay, at different directions. Okay, this is the instance where they are colliding each other. So at the point of contact, you can draw this tangent line. Okay, and this is the normal n direction which is the DCI direction. Okay. Alright, <coughs> velocities are given just before impact. Okay, VA1 and VB1. The mass is given okay, for each particle. You're asked to find the velocity after impact. So VA2 and you're asked to find the components of velocity. So VA2, the x component, VA2Y component, VB2X component, and VB2Y component. 
So you're asked to find four unknowns. Okay? And you need four equations for it, right? <coughs> and since this is oblique impact, look at this right here. We do have four equations. Okay? So just apply these four equations to this picture and solve for them simultaneously and you're done. Okay? So apply them one at a time. Okay, let's look at each particle. Alright? So equation one. So for each particle, okay, let's start with particle A. So velocity of A in the tangent direction, okay, before equals velocity of A tangent direction after. Okay? So <coughs> Just uh, apply this to this picture right here. So VA tangent before, and that's given, okay, if I need to decompose this into the tangent direction, okay? So, by the way, this X and Y, X simply is normal, Y is tangent, okay? Same thing, right? Okay, so <coughs> VA T1, which means it's the Y component, so VA1, if it's 30 degrees, then this is 30 degrees. So the Y component, the tangent component, would be sine 30 degrees equals VA tangent okay, 2. Alright, so this is one of the unknowns. Okay. So <coughs> immediately you can solve for this unknown right here. Okay, so just plug in VA1, 3 meters per second, sine 30 degrees, which is 0.5, so this 1.5. So right away you can solve for VA T2. And then for particle B, just keep going. Right? Same thing. So, so VB T1 equals VB tangent 2. So VB1, now VB now is coming in in the negative direction. So this is negative of VB1, this is a 45 and that's 45. So sine or cosine, same thing, right, equals VB T2. Therefore, VB T2 equals, just plug it in, negative of 1 sine 45 degrees. Negative 0.07, 0.707 meters per second. Okay, so negative sign means it's going downward. Okay, so <coughs> your software two to four notes. Okay, just keep going, applying the third and fourth equations 